you have to stop fighting the melancholy. And I'm saying that as someone who constantly kicks melancholy's ass. When that moody feeling strikes, I know exactly what to do. I get productive, I move my body, I don't let myself sit too long. Because there was a time in my life when I sat too long in that melancholy and became very depressed, wasn't eating, my health was very negatively affected by it. And so I became a pro at fucking up melancholy. And now that I'm older and wiser, hopefully, I'm learning that melancholy is not something to fight. In fact, most of my brilliance comes from melancholy. And I discovered a bridge with human design that really helps out. So if you're feeling melancholy or you're fighting it or you're tired of fighting it like me or um, you're worried that there's something wrong with you because of how melancholic you are, check this out. So this is a picture of my body graph. The green is me in combination with the transits. The gold is the transits. Now I want to bring your attention to a couple channels. This one right here, the 6124, the 4323, and then the 5539. Now these are all part of the individual circuitry. All this, this central line, this channel going down the middle, that's all individual circuitry. These ones coming out of the root in the middle, individual circuitry. This shit going up here, individual circuitry. And the individual circuitry is pretty much powered by, that's right, you fucking guessed it, melancholy. Shifting back and forth between like sadness and happiness, having this like even keel with like, oh, I'm elated, I'm blissful. And then it's like, oh, I'm fucking fuck everything. That melancholy is the life force that individualizes us. And so there was a time in my life when this feeling of melancholy, the same feeling that I'm feeling right now, where I'm like thinking a lot about the problems of the world, I'm looking for certainty, I'm like trying to confront truths and emotions and stuff like that, but none, like nothing is really helping. I'm also trying to do a bunch of email shit on my website, and that's like, ugh. But the melancholy is just like, ugh. And so actually, yesterday I did something a little bit different. Instead of like, getting productive and doing a bunch of shit. I decided to just sit in my rocking chair, look out at the rain, which is making me extra melancholic, and just like write a song. But I didn't actually plan to write a song. I was like, I'm just gonna noodle around on guitar. And then I kind of started singing. And then I kind of wrote a song. And it brought me back to a time in my life where I was like transmuting my melancholy into art. And I realize I don't do that as much anymore. I make a ton of videos. I do a bunch of creative stuff. I still make music. But there was something about like just being with the guitar and the rain brought me back to some of my breakups, if I'm being totally honest. But it made me realize like, oh, I'm fighting melancholy rather than number one, accepting the melancholy and number two, like transmuting the melancholy. I would just fucking destroy it because I knew all the techniques, I knew the breathing that I had to do, I knew which part of my body, I had the soft tissue, I just knew, I knew what I had to do. And I think part of me making this video is like sharing the unfoldings and the emergence of like knowing what to do with the melancholy doesn't always help the melancholy. Sometimes you got to let go of what you know is helpful for you in order to define the thing that's actually going to help you. So if you've been feeling melancholy like today and maybe like the past three or four days, it's probably because of these placements up here, 4323. That's that one right there, connecting the cognitive awareness, the ajna, the answers down into the throat via the voice of like, I know this, I know that. There's melancholy in like knowing shit, but your ideas sometimes being too weird or you think they're too weird. And also maybe people not really asking you what your ideas are. There's melancholy in that. And so again, instead of fighting the melancholy, just be present with the melancholy. Don't try and solve it like it's a Rubik's Cube. Because it's not. Or if it is, it's way more fucking complicated than a Rubik's Cube. So, yeah, that's, that's all. That's what this video is about. Let me know in the comments if you're feeling shitty and sad. Um... And know that you're not alone.